Okay. Hello, Looks everybody, better. and welcome to this episode of the broadcast. I am your host, King Qatar, and here with my co-host, Saucy Sang. I was going to say Sucky Sang. <laughs> that would have been a lot better. And yeah, Saucy Sang. Have I used that name before? You you had the name Saucy Odyssey. Oh yeah, I but remember. then I gave up on that. Nah, it was like me trying to revamp my style, right? But then it was like, eh, I don't know. I think saying is just fine. Everyone's yeah. names are just fine. Yeah. And you. I think we I all have been ex- through that stage where we were trying to go for a different kind of name and then we all just end up using our own name. <laughs> oh, but I, yeah, I think people are trying to be extra creative. But even no, I'm just saying like. Maybe, yeah, it's better for you to have a different name other than your own so it doesn't associate with you, like, in real life or something. Mm. Uh, But then again, no one's gonna use Matt or, like, David, all those common names. That's why I use Sang, because Sang is, it's not common, it's special. It's it's, uh, it's it's pretty common for Asians, I think. I don't think I met another Sang, though. There are definitely other sayings, that's for sure. Maybe not a lot of other Thai sayings, but maybe Korean or something, or Chinese. I know. I think "sang" is in Korean. I think. I don't know. I've only heard of "sang chai," which is like "sang" but with no "g," and he's like a Muay Thai fighter. Oh. That's, that's how it's associated with me but then about anything else i don't know Mm. yeah like your name as well it's it's pretty my one is actually a pretty common thai name i think like your half i think half of your name but not like your whole name it's no it's a really common thai name for the real name you know yeah um because so with Thailand, we have nicknames, and then we have the real name. Mm-hmm. But like, I, my nickname is basically my real name. So not a lot of Thai people will be nicknamed Kata, but their real names are actually Kata. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? So like Kata, like last name Ta, first name Ka. What? <laughs> no. I'm, t- I'm talking about real name and then there's the surname. We don't count the surname. So there's like nickname, real name, surname. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, so ca- got you. Or no, wait. I don't. Is I surname, don't isn't it? Wait, isn't sir? Okay, so think of it this way there's first name and then there's last name. Okay, yes. so my first Those name are... is Qatar, and then my last name is the whatever the family, and then the, but then we have a name before that, which is the nickname. So usually they give nicknames in Thailand. We don't just use our first name as our nickname. We have mm. yeah, but they separate that for whatever reason. But yeah, so yeah, but my nickname is Qatar because my parents did, didn't bother to give me a nickname. They were just like, let's just. Oh, it's let's shut just, up, Qatar. <laughs> let's just. You use, have a nickname, technically. Let's just use his real name you for have his a nickname. nickname. Well, that's because people just abbreviate it. That's like. Yeah. Uh, you know, dad calls you Ta. That's like abbreviating Jonathan or something. You just call him John, right? It's the, yeah, that's the nickname. I don't think people are complaining. It, like I, when their full their name is Matthew, the people call them Matt. I think it's actual nickname. What you want to be called? Uh, well, no Cheerios one really calls me Ta. Okay, no one talk. You don't even call me Ta. Well, I don't because I'm so used to calling you Kata. <laughs> exactly. See, it's. It's it's what uh, it's Mendoxai is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you can still have. If you really want a nickname, you can just tell everybody you want a nickname. What would you? What would your nickname be if you want one? I I, I don't know. Ta. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's it. There you go. The problem solved. Oh, boy. Hello, everybody. I'm Ta now. You will call me Ta from now on. If you call me Kata, I'll be offended heavily. Well, too bad your name is Kata on every other social media platform. I don't think you ever use Ta like anywhere else. So you're like Ta in game? No. Mm. In games, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. No. Yeah. It's whatever, though. Whatever. My name's Kata. Who cares? I have a unique name, I guess. I guess. Yeah, see? It's true. You'll love your name, Kata. It's a bit weird more for other people now, to say, it? man. I don't know. How do other people well, call I mean, it? I you don't really meet other people, so... Yeah, yeah but when I, solely... when I have, though, it's always either Kata or... Or what was it? Qatar, the, like Qatar or something like that. Like what the? F- Qatar, or Qatar? Qatar was nice, but why? There's no R. <laughs> I just remember it uh, so vividly. Why would they call you Qatar? Because Qatar was just too annoying. Actually, no, Qatar because I think they were confused about the beach. That's also have the same name as yours, so uh. maybe they tried differentiating that. I don't know. Name. I think people just mess up my name really easily. It's either Kata, K- Katar, like friggin'. It's just like Kata, like almost Cutter, but with an R at the end. Kata. I like how we use our names whenever we see our names like associated with any brand or product. We call it as our own, right? So yeah. for me. Like my one, my name is Sang Chai. Like my first half, and then there's a mall and a hotel called Chai Sang. So it's Sang and Chai but reverse. And yeah, somehow I've claimed that hotel and mall as my own. Yeah, I have Zang- a I have a beach, or a ba- probably a bunch of hotels and restaurants as well. <laughs> yeah, Qatar Beach. No, I don't know why. We just call it your beach for some reason. Yeah, uh, look, just look at my room, man. It's obviously first class. I own a beach, and obviously, just look at look at this decor. Um, lovely <laughs> summer flower winds, and uh, the lovely blue curtain in the background to symbolize the sea. <laughs> yeah. You remember? You remember Pat and her uh, secret car brand that she had? Petrarati. The Petrarati. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fishy story again. It's like she has a secret brand that she's running with a bunch of Italian style cards. And now it's, it's just, we're just mocking her pretty much. Yeah. Pretty sure a lot of us had a bunch of secret stories that I can't really remember. That I can't like recall on the spot. But I'm pretty sure we well, all. You, for one, you you stated that you would you would eat the house. I do not know why. And then you back you doubled down, right? You said, uh, "Oh, I didn't mean to eat." I think okay. Let's wait. Turn back a bit. So we, I think, you're living in the old house in Phuket, and then I don't know why you stated this, but you said that you're gonna eat the house, right? Yeah, and then we move to the next house. Actually, no. Uh, okay, let's say we, you we move to the next house. You, you still didn't eat the old house, so you could eat this house or something. And then you double down and said, "Oh, I'm not gonna eat this house. I'm gonna eat a gingerbread house. A gingerbread house? Nah, no, you <laughs> never mentioned that." <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, was a kid. St- I was a kid. Come on. <laughs> now we're still waiting. He still hasn't uh, tried uh, any. I'll get any to it. it I'll get to it one day. It's just uh, yeah. pretty sure it's not that hard. I'm pretty sure someone has actually done this before, though. Yeah, you know, it's like the stories where the guy eats glass. I'm pretty sh- and oh yeah, there's a guy. I think it's the same guy. It was like on uh, 
Stanley superhuman, uh, superhumans or something. And I remember that he ate a whole biplane before. Hmm. Well, that's just stupid. Like, why? So it's like, they, no, that guy had just like had terrible stomach acid, right? He could just melt metal, and um, so he's like, uh, what's her name? And what's her name in Boku no Hero? I don't know the pink girl. <laughs> yeah, the pink girl. <laughs> the pink girl. Okay, guys. Yeah, pink girl. <laughs> But yeah, that guy is in, that guy can eat anything and everything, and he's probably the one. But why though? I yes, I think it's just for the challenge, right? You have this so ability. like he saw like what a piece of metal lying around, and then he just decided, oh, I'm gonna eat this. That looks good. That piece of metal right there, oh, delicious. I think Kata. I think we just never reached that level. Like we were level five, though I think the top thing that we ate the most was like paper, and then we never like extended by beyond that. Well, because so it's was, not good. It's he started at paper, and then he went to wood, and then wood to nails, and then nails to like glass. But like, why? <laughs> what did it? Does he think it's yummy? Is is it yummy or nails? I think yum- it's just for saying he did it, pretty much. <laughs> Bragging rights. Well, I mean, could I look at look at TLC? What's that? Like strangest, uh, strangest. What's what's that series called? I what's that series? The strange things where like people eat rocks and then the sponge of the mattress. What are you talking about? I do not. People know. have uh, so like the, there's a series on TLC, right? Yeah. And then people just have the strangest eating habits. So there's this lady who would drink blood. There's this other lady who would eat rocks. And there's this other lady. I'm not trying to diss ladies. That ate like the the sponge in the mattress, right? That's that's a series on TLC. It's like people having weird habits. Have you ever seen like the guy who like loves his car so much that's on that ah uh, yeah but it's just like it's weird i just like why i don't i can't comprehend why honestly well yeah those people i can't either but it's some of them just do it and also and you you like uh complain to me about it but there's uh, another person who just eats raw beef and chicken so don't go at me for saying I don't cook my food long enough. Ta-da. <laughs> well, you don't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. What do you mean? You don't what do you know mean? what's good. You just freaking pick name, it off. Name if one instance. If it's cooked. Name one instance. If it's cooked, he'll eat it. If it's not cooked, he'll eat it. <laughs> the thing is... No, you tell me like one instance besides Mukata, we can skip that for now. Besides Mukata, where I've cooked something for you that was raw. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is probably fried chicken. If you chicken. can't bring anything up. No, my fried chicken last time I was there was so good. That was last time. Except my pieces. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Except my pieces. Yeah, I definitely had to eat around that. But yours were just fine. Those were good. I make the best fried chicken. It's at risk See? of a bit of red here and there. But, <laughs> but and if also, it's good, yeah, and it's you could, actually and good. And your pieces okay? were fully cooked, right? So you intentionally but i cooked it for i cooked it for me i intentionally made it for me exactly you intentionally, and I gave you, you intentionally made it raw because you eat <laughs> raw chicken and beef well katai you wanted to go to japan so much yeah so you know they serve raw chicken sushi I'm not gonna eat the raw chicken sushi. If you're going to Japan, you have to go get that too. Experience no. all of Japan. Yeah, no, it's like no. I'm not gonna go there. If we're gonna eat raw chicken sushi. I would like to. Yeah, but it looks. 
all right i, mean, I don't think raw habit. chicken just looks i don't think it looks yummy i don't think it would taste yummy either you watch uh you watch uh abroad in japan right yeah yeah i watched him a lot so he goes i saw the horse meat and i saw the bear meat and what else i think that's it just like the and the raw chicken as well i said raw chicken with someone else never mind but yeah, I'm, I, if I go to Japan, I want to try those as well. Hmm. I don't know. Why does horse meat seem taboo? It's not exactly a dog or a cat. And why are dogs and ta- cats taboo? They're animals just like the rest of <laughs> Well, yeah, that's true. Why don't we eat more cats and dogs? It's so weird. They're just why like we... animals that we happen to like more because they're cuter and we just and easier to at one point at one point when do we stop like hunting tigers and then started taking care of them or something right yeah or like taking bobcats i think like (laughs) we're gonna piss off a lot of people (laughs) well whatever we're asian we love (laughs) we love all the cats exotic (laughs) meat yeah okay just to clarify no we do not eat and I, I have never at least yeah, eaten I, dog. I don't think I don't think I will either. But I'm just wondering why though. Know? No, I think like the earliest uh, time when we domesticated, well, I think cats was like in Egypt. Like cats were like gods there as well. Mm. So they worshipped cats, and the cats. I don't know. Now we all worship cats now, and then dogs. <laughs> we I think, still worship cats. <laughs> I think we domesticated dogs during like the ice age or something where I don't know we were cold and then we <laughs> killed mammoths with the dogs and the dogs were like yeah it's cool you can chill with us and then that's how it happened. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's kind of sad because you can see some of the dogs like you see like big dogs right and then yeah we've bred them so much to the point where they're like useless without us so just think like uh chihuahuas or shih tzus or uh, Hmm. those hot dog dogs yeah oh dashuns or something right we've like played with natural selection too much and now the dog doesn't have long enough legs the chihuahua's too small uh, the bull, uh, the uh, the pug's nose is pushed in. Yeah, I don't know how, like, but it happened. It just, it just happened. We've bred a lot of things where it's we've, just we've bred a lot of too much. things to to the point where they can't even take care of themselves. Yeah, like uh, chickens as well. We've bred them to be like so freaking fat and obese. From our like wild chickens like you can like see just think like the chickens that you can see like around the, the village right yeah and then farm chickens yeah like we were so i'm pretty sure i've wanted a farm chicken before like we see them in the oh, i thought that was a tick Never mind. we see them in like uh the animal books when we were kids right See, like, farm chickens, like, white and, and then red on top. And we yeah. got, like, what, this rainbow freaking skinny-ass thing that we call a chicken here? <laughs> I don't I don't really know if it's a different species of chicken or something, but... Like... It is. Oh, so it is. So it's... It's... Yeah, I think. I don't know. We have... We have... I don't know what we, we uh, I'll just call them cider chickens, I guess. Hmm. Actually, no, they're banok chickens, and then those are the city chickens. The chickens in the city are fat. Yeah. We are like the strong ones. Maybe it's because. Maybe yeah. they're like all skinny like that because we kind of breed uh, around here, they kind of breed them to fight each other. That's true. Um, yeah, to give context on that, uh, around here is basically farmland and 
countryside and on the for fun what people do is they breed chickens and then they like they fight them and then you know they make them fight each other and then they put like place bets it's kind of like gambling and it is cruel and i never watched one actually i've actually seen one oh but i haven't seen one but apparently they put like blades onto the the chickens or the cock fight i don't what do you call them cocks yeah, yeah they, they put it on the cock's foot and then basically the blades like cut into the chicken <laughs> while they fight they use their feet and then it like cuts mm -hmm. the other chickens and yeah basically they fight until one cannot go on anymore and then yeah and then whoever wins gets some prize or something i've i've seen one like just like passing by right and then we just i don't know we came to stop to look at it. They didn't have the blades on. I think they were practicing. Uh. I've never seen like the ones like a proper one. So I mm. guess that goes for it. I'm pretty sure that's illegal here. Yeah, maybe, probably. Actually, I don't know. I mean, just the fact that you said gambling. So, <laughs> well, yeah, it is gambling. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it is gambling. It is gambling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you could say the same thing with football then, because football there's gambling in football, and there's also gambling in other sports. Of course, but that's why they're all. It's all online, right? It's like uh, anonymity. Anonymity. How do you say that word? Anonymously. No. And in and. What? You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, no. <laughs> An anonymity. <laughs> anonymity or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that. That's why. That's why it's all online. You can never like find like a a venue or people shouting, Oh, put your bets in like the old like movies you used to watch where like they put cash in the buckets and then Yeah. I don't even know how they can dispense that exactly. Yeah, but something like that. Yeah, everything's online. I think like the only legal gambling we have in Thailand here is uh, the lottery and then horse racing for some reason. Oh. Like we don't have casinos and playing cards. Except there's plenty considered. of gambling anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, of course there's going to be. It's not like you could... But yeah, it's just illegal, that's it. We also there's also fighter fish, yeah, yeah, right? Fish. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, so basically, they these these little the special fish. They're usually like colorful, and they basically whenever they see each other, they fight. <laughs> they fight. It's just male dominance, isn't it? Yeah. They just have to fight for some reason. They're really nice looking fish, though. They have like long ass, flowy fins, really colorful, and. Wow. Yeah, they are. They are nice looking fish. You you can't deny that. Like, I'd rather have something else over that though. They're probably the nicest river, uh, the nicest river fish that we've ever caught. No, I don't. Seen. Wait, 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 wait. I Just, don't think it's the same thing. I don't think we ever caught in. We never caught. Well, we a, never caught a one beta of fish. That was like as good looking as that. Well, I don't yeah, think, like in the wild, it could be that like pretty. I think it can. I think like at some point, one of our fish did when we caught them. It was like turning blue. It's kind of like halfway between like bare ugly to uh, like you know the nice ones and the clear yeah. ones, right? But then yeah, it died <laughs> or something probably. Yes, <laughs> yeah, probably died. Yeah. But I think you can, maybe. I I don't know. Would it? Uh, I guess. But how would that like be good against predators per se? Let's say like you're a sparkly fish. Why would you want to be sparkly? You want to show everyone that well, you're. Well, the thing the thing is, you're in freaking murky water. I don't think most of the fish in the water use their eyes to hunt if they're predators. Pretty sure they do. Maybe they do. Maybe or they, they can do. smell the color. Smell the color. Yeah, freaking glowing. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think. Maybe, maybe. Oh no! I think maybe they use the puck 
the the floating vegetable to guard themselves because they're usually under those. So basically, in the river, there's these plants that have that like float on the water and they have these long roots. Mm-hmm. And usually, the beta or fighter fish are you they usually live under there. So maybe if they were to get away from a predator fish, they'll probably just go up into the roots, or like you know just stay around the roots because the big predator fish doesn't want to deal with that big plant. So yeah. Wow. Maybe I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll just go with that. No, because I'm thinking still. Let's say you know you, you're a fisherman and you're trying to look for snakeheads and you get all the sparkling bait. That's why I'm like, why would they want bright colors? Because mm. that's how like people buy baits. It's like with vibrance and saturation or something. Ah, uh. yeah. But you. Can they really see the vibrant colors in the murky ass river? Yes. Pretty well, sure they use they... vibrant, like shiny baits for like ocean stuff. Things are in oceans because the water is clearer, and then fish can actually see. No, I'm pretty sure you can still buy like shiny stuff here, and then fish, and then you catch. I don't know. I I really don't know. No, you, mean you don't know. You you used to be a big fisherman back know, in the day. I didn't have a real fishing we've rod with a real we've, we've lure. Had real, we have, we've had we real have fishing. not used. Yes. We had real fishing rods, but we never used it in a in a real way. <laughs> what do you mean? We've caught fish. We before. never did have one of those catching real we fishing. Did. No, we didn't. We've had several no. of them. We no, had like we didn't. Three of them. We and didn't. We did. They didn't have the reels. They're just a rod. We've had the reels. They're no, they're no. Yes, during the beginning of like when we moved into the house, we've had fishing rods. And they we did not them. have we've the reels. We've had three of them. Did we you? gave them to Angel, and me, and Pat. We had three of them, at least. Well, then whatever rod I got definitely wasn't one with a reel. Well, maybe you didn't because you weren't good enough yet or something. You, you, what did you catch? You probably caught a chi- tiny little anchovy or something. But uh, don't you know, like, anchovies aren't in the river? You know the ones that we call the daddy fish? <laughs> the weak ass. I think it's like the equivalent to sardines. Yeah, the anchovy. <laughs> I, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, probably. But I still caught fish. You can't say, like, I did not use it properly if I caught fish. Did you, like, throw it out there like that? With a real lure, did you catch snakeheads? No, you didn't. No, I'm probably pretty sure we've just... (laughs) No, what's the point of the reel? (laughs) What's the point of the reel? The reel is cool. That's it. It's like, yeah, it's like having cool things just for the sake of it you know (laughs) it's like wearing cool sports clothes but you could have just worn normal clothes Hmm. see with the same function no i if if you were just doing the the plop the bay in the water pool you couldn't use a normal rod you don't even need a rod You, you just need a stick and a string and a hook and a float and then that's it well if you want to be boring yeah Go ahead. That's like fifteen baht. That's it. <laughs> Why don't you pay a thousand baht for a cool ass fishing rod? I don't see the appeal. <laughs> because you're not. Because if you're not using it the, the way that it's intended to be used, then it's like, what's the point? Well, whatever. We were like ten. <laughs> Jesus! I give us kids a break. <laughs> Uh, funny. We, all we want to do is use our fishing rods, man, and go on our ATVs and go swimming. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I want to go on. I want to go on ATV again. I really want to try uh, going off-road. 
I want to try like dirt bike. dirt bike. Dirt bike looks fun. Dirt bike maybe. I don't it know. looks freaking nah, fun. Know. Like it on the hills. Huh? Going on the hills. In the air. Yeah, we are wearing it's, protection. It's scary. But uh, condoms aren't gonna help you in a bike, okay? <laughs> You're wearing different kinds of protection, like practical protection. <sighs> yeah, but you could be orgasming from all the. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll try, but just not like freaking daredevil on that. I think. Okay. Like with the hills, right? Instead of like going over. No, maybe just... not going on like hills and stuff, but just like going in like on vegetation or like some kind of jungle or something. Still scary. Going down a hill. Ooh. I don't think I've ever gone down a hill. We go time. down hills. I'm pretty sure we've gone down hills and stuff. Except very smooth hills. <laughs> you mean our driveway? No, there's like there's tall bridges over there, like what what oh, I used no, to. Oh, a bridge! No, these are like steep, pretty steep. But if it's not Patong, then it should be just fine. Maybe dirt biking <laughs> on a beach that would be fun. Oh no, you'll crush the turtle eggs. Oh, I want to try jet skiing actually. Jet ski? What? Isn't that just a bike on water? Yo, it looks fun. Meh. Looks alright. <laughs> well, at least it's safe, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only, like, the wildest thing we did on the beach was wave boarding, and that's it. That's not even wild. <laughs> Okay, fine. The wildest thing we did was why? Why did we never like learn how to <laughs> surf? We know how to surf. We we didn't know how to surf. Surfboards are so expensive. I I never saw. I never exactly. Know how much. And compared to us, when we like were at the beach, we needed waveboards. Surfboards are like. It's like let me just. It's taller than me, and you can't tell how big that is. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we've gone to the beach so much, I've kind of, like, it's kind of weird, and, one of, like, we never even, like, tried surfing. I mean, we tried, we tried surfing on our body, board, bo body boards, but... <laughs> yeah, waveboarding, it's the same. It's just <laughs> it's not, for kids. It's not to say you're not standing on the board. You're on you're a wave, though. Well, yeah. And yes, you are standing on it. No, you're not. You, not like you're holding like, on to you're it. Not like, which, <laughs> you're just holding on to it. Like, you're not no, like you can you're actually not. stand on it. Well, we didn't do that. We did. No, we didn't. We never. You didn't. You freaking. I s I I knew how to stand on it when it was still. We stood on it, just not on the biggest waves. Okay. No, we didn't stand on it. We did. No, we didn't. We never surfed. It's like we never surfed. We have. We have not. We have, no. and you were too young to remember. <laughs> There's no before. way. There's Memory no way. Saying. There's no again. freaking way we surfed. We only held onto the boards and went on the wave. There's no way one of us actually remember stood on the board we've and we've actually kept balance on and board. ridden the whole wave the to board, the beach. But the There's no like, freaking way. <laughs> we've stood on the board. No. We stood on the board, Kata. <laughs> no. We just have to clarify with Pet. Which watch? Clarify with Pet. <laughs> yeah, we'll ask Pet. She'll probably tell us who's right, who's wrong. I'm obviously right. Nah, we did not together. surf. We did not surf. <laughs> she. Kata, what she's gonna say is. It's not surfing, but we did stand on the board before. Yeah, of course okay. we stood on it, but it's not like we actually on kept... a wave as no, well. No, no, we have not. That's surfing. That's surfing. And we have not surfed. Uh, the water moving is a wave, okay? No, it's like a little. That's it. That's a wave. No, <laughs> we've. Oh, man. 
<laughs> you and your memory loss, your Alzheimer's <laughs> kicking yeah. in, Gada. You are the one with memory loss. We did not surf. Just no freaking way. I'm not. I'm not the one who self-proclaimed he has it. So. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't surfed ever. <clears throat> oh. Would you ever do bungee jumping? No. Why? That just screams death. But it's pretty safe. No, no, it's not. You're jumping so off. So like of... bungee jumping and skydiving? Nah, I don't think I would. You nope. would do skydiving. No way. I don't want to die. Thank you very much. And you uh, are frozen. You are freezing up right now. What? Oh, what the, the heck? Sang is frozen. Sang is... is frozen. Sang. Sang. No. Wow. What happened? This is what? going to be edited out. What? That's my nose. Looking good, nose. Looking good. <laughs> Yeah, Sang is completely frozen right now. I should just take a screenshot, actually. This is a pretty good screenshot. Uh, oh, never mind. It's back. <laughs> At least I had my face didn't like freeze in the worst position this time. It was pretty bad. I was just talking about my nose. Uh, because I didn't know what you were saying. Why did it freeze? What? Just, 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 just ignore, ignore. What did you say again? What did I say again? You Do were you not saying. Remember, or were you, you like were saying something? Oh, never mind. I was I asking what you like because you froze for like a good I don't know minute or so, and then whatever ah, what not, were you uh, saying oh yeah sky skydiving and bungee that. jumping oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> there would you do that i said I, no you, no frick that that's deaf what if it's someone with you like the it, professional it, don't, it doesn't matter if professionals die yeah but amateurs live too well, yeah, about that? Well, I'm not gonna do it. It's just why would I put myself in Oof. the way of danger? Oh yeah, and dirt biking in the jungle is so so safe. Yeah, it's much safer than I don't know jumping off a bridge with a tiny piece of string holding. Katai, you've done fixing you to the bridge. Way worse, and you yeah. haven't even hit adulthood yet. You've yep, stepped on glass in the river. That's, how, that's not death. That's not death. That's not Hunted jumping off. Stingrays. Did we do battle giant stingrays. crabs? <laughs> the crabs were like <laughs> that. They're not that big. Oh, see, he's not like saying, "Oh, this big is so small." It's like that's not death. Bungee jumping is death. Bungee jumping is not death. Yeah, it is. You're jumping off a it's bridge. It's not death. It's not a sentence. That, that's what. Oh, that's I what people. You to death that's by what, bungee jumping. That's why people commit suicide by jumping off of bridges because it's death. Yeah, but they, when they die, Kata, they don't have a bungee cable attached to them. Exactly. But you think they're? Do you think they're gonna buy uh, like a faulty bungee? Exactly. I jump cable, off right? and then it breaks and then I die. Well, you do you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on, go on and jump off a bridge if you want to. I'm gonna stay on the bridge. Thank you very much. I'll pull you down. <laughs> then you'll you have to hold on to your life. <laughs> I'll just tackle you. Oof. Nah. Ugh. <sighs> So what else do we want to try? I don't know. They are under parkour. Nah. We wanted to do parkour. We've tried co more. parkour when we were kids, but we weren't any good at it. We were just like running around. I just remember going to the calisthenic pull-up bar thing, and then 
I was able to switch from one bar to another. Yeah, we could do uh, that, and and then I guess we can climb the bungee. Uh, the, we could uh, the we like jumped bars. off pretty high walls and then like did a back roll. We could. Yeah, we did that. I don't. Like we like no at like in Bangkok when we still uh, studied with Auntie. Yo, you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know that park with that ledge, and that we would jump off the wall and like do like a back roll, and it was pretty high up, like for us. I'm probably sure if you go back, I don't remember, but I think I know what you're talking about. I think it was like near the dead pool or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. So yeah, we did that, and then there's also that tennis court where I guess we will walk around the fence, keep balance. Wow. Hey, walking on the fence, come on, that's actually pretty hard. Sure. Just like walking around this tiny little fence. You I'm around. pretty sure if you look up parkour, you're not going to see people walking on the fence. Hey, it was practice. Sure be it like was over the fence. It was practice. Like, we were walking on the fence, balancing until well, we went the all the way around. Was like, the coolest thing was like when there's a gap for people to go through it, you can just jump on it or something. Yeah, see, you you had, you had to jump to breach that gap, and then you had sure. to keep the balance afterwards. See, we're pretty good parkourists. See if that's how if that's the word. <laughs> I think it's parkourers. Or whatever, it doesn't matter. No, it's not. It's just not. He's like. Never mind. <laughs> so you wanna try parkour? Yeah, that looks fun. It's the art of getting there as fast as you can. It's like also utilizing your body. Like freaking, you can climb stuff, right? And hmm. then you could do stuff other people can. I wanna do flips. I wanna do backflips as well. Hmm. I wanna do that cool jump over the building. Well, I'm pretty sure you need to learn gymnastics first. No, just wing it. <laughs> Give me a building, I'll go there. <laughs> You're not gonna instantly learn how to do a front flip and a back flip and all those chicks say. Hey, I know how to do a front flip <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> No, we only know how to do a roly poly, that's it. The hell's a roly poly? Wait, no, a somersault. I'm <laughs> sorry, yeah, roly poly, somersault, same thing. You say roly poly? <laughs> Whatever. What have you ever somersault. said roly poly? <laughs> I guess I forgot the word for it, okay? <laughs> 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 roly poly are just little cute bugs. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you do the roly poly. It's a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the word for it. Okay, but now I remember. Yeah. He calls climbing a fence parkour. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're pretty good at it. What about shooting? That seems simple. Shooting a gun. That's something Archery I really something. want to try. It's not like I would go out of my way to try to try. It's not like something like I really want to try, you know? Kind of like, oh yeah, I'll try it. But that's it, kind of. Well, what about like paintball fight? That look, that that's fun. Looks, that looks fun. Yeah, I want to destroy. I want to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have beat me now. <laughs> we should rent. We should uh, we should rent out a place and then have like all the family there, and then it's like a family battle royale. So like, we, we already have Nerf guns and do the same thing. We are, we're already hurt from no Nerf time. guns. We're already, when we play Nerf guns in each other, we're always like, we're, we're already like, no, no. Freaking screaming in pain. You take, well, yeah. Nerf, you take the rest of them and take paintballs. That's why I'm saying 
I don't think they would do paintballs, it. Paintballs, <laughs> uh, because we would actually die from the pain. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would. Our do family's it. too big, cause uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you want to <laughs> narrow okay, it okay. down? Wait, wait, a more simpler one would be, I think, like laser, laser tag. What about like airsoft? I'm pretty sure that's even worse than paintballs. I, I don't know. I... That's like pellets, like BB gun pellets. Mm. And you had to be like actually properly. Well, actually, in both, you had to be properly uh, closed. Yeah. But, I I don't know, man. I think like airsoft is higher than paintballs, and then below that is laser, and below that is nerf. Ah. Uh. But yeah, I would play paintball. It's just fun. Paint competitive and stuff it, is just fun. Running around and yeah, tagging go karts. Can't believe I want to do go karts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Angel got to do it. Such a, so <laughs> jealous. Right. How like how affordable is it? Oh, I think it's like five hundred baht a session. Ah, uh, like normal stuff. Great. Right. Mm. But I don't know any places around here. Hmm. I wanna try to drift. Except you need Ooh. to drift. Yeah. Same in park a car. Like, like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to know how to park to drift. What do you want to drift park? Yeah, oh, see. That's cool. Yeah, see, I don't want to. I don't want to know how to park. I want to know how to do a one eighty and two my parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> so not our parking spot. How are you supposed to drift into that? I don't know how, like, our house, like, we had to do surgical parking. So, whatever they set up there, it's, like, with extreme precision. And, uh, yeah, I'm never going to drive. So, <laughs> it doesn't concern me too much. But I am worried about in case, like, someone uh, on my uh, left here. What? Um, Accidentally scratches it or something, you know. So. I've never scratched the car. Saying you're the one who scratched the car, not me. I never just, scratched. Just saying. I you're, crashed. You're, I never you're, scratched. You're the one. <laughs> you're the one who <laughs> smashed into the gate, not me. Hey, listen, listen. Early in the morning, like friggin' six something. Can't believe I woke up that early. Took the kids to school and I drove back. We've already known how hard it is to drive into our driveway. It's not kids. that hard. That I part was, is not hard. I was half asleep. One eye, maybe like one eye open, drive through, and then little book, <laughs> little stuff. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Looked, walked out, saw like uh, I've nicked a. Uh, the 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 piece like below the headlight on the left and yeah i'm pretty sure it's actually no i'm i'm not pretty sure i know it's still there like the chip on the wall as well as the dent in the car so uh yeah but what i will say what i will say is i've never crashed into anyone else i never crashed into anyone okay i can say that <laughs> oh that's good good to know <laughs> yeah so so far i'm a good driver yeah in public okay well i've had my fair share i actually i never damaged a car but i've definitely touched things <laughs> with it you've touched things with it. yeah i touched it but no, i didn't damage it like actually leave a mark so well, then you crashed. So like it. what? <laughs> so what? So like it was when we're it was when we're having a funeral. So they set up like the tent and everything, and the car. I had to get the car out, 
So I it was really tight space basically. So basically when I started to turn the car around because the car is facing one way and the gate is in another direction, so I need to turn the car around. And the tent is basically the car is under the tent and there's like these poles that hold up the tent like mm. yeah, so basically you there's very little space. And yeah, so I was backing up and Angel was there and I hit one of the tent poles, right? Like, really hard hit it because I was slowly backing up. I kind of just, like, pushed it. You know? Mm. And then, yeah, that's it. That's it. No damage, though. And then I eventually I got out. You crashed with the better looking car. Hey, I didn't, I didn't damage it. I didn't damage it. Okay, and there's also this another time. Oh, this one's a little more serious. Oh, two times. <laughs> okay. I never told anyone this, <laughs> except for <What>? Tina. <laughs> except for Tina. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, I don't. No, I never told Tina. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I never told Tina. Okay, so was that, <laughs> is that a football competition? So the car, Tina and Daddy were buying drinks or something. Mm. And Dad, Daddy wanted me. Actually, no. Yeah, actually, yeah. Daddy wanted me to get the car out. Okay, and Gong was with me. You know Gong, right? Deck Monk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one of them. Yeah. So he was with me in the car. And then I w <laughs> so I went into the car. I was going to back it out. I was just going to back it out. But I didn't realize that there was a car right parked right behind our car. I didn't look for some goddamn reason. I didn't look before I backed up the car. So... <laughs> I backed the car right into the other car. You could hear the 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 impact. So basically, I heard the impact of our car, our car's back bumper hitting the license plate of the other car. I was like, "Oh shit!" And then I quickly went forward, and then I just and then put it in park, and then climbed to the back. I just I didn't back up the car. I didn't get the car out or anything. I just left it. I was just I'll just let daddy go. And then I climbed into the back with Kong, and I was just like, "Shh, shh, don't tell dad." That's funny. That's so funny. And, and, he, and he was just laughing. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, I backed the car up into the license plate, and yeah, no one found out. There was no mark oh. or anything. And there's nobody sitting in the be in that car either. So <laughs> I got away with a bullet there. I'm so surprised there's like no mark. Was that with the new? Was that with uh, the white car? Yeah. Or <laughs> all right, and yeah, get out. I'm You've done way great. worse than me. You've done way worse I, than I, me. I, I, I didn't damage the car. I didn't cause any harm. I didn't cause any harm. I mean, just the, how many instances I'm hearing. But I t it's just like a little impact. A little impact that made noise. It's... Yeah. Still. <laughs> See, there, there's no impact. There's no mark. Daddy didn't find out of it. Find out. No one found out. Let's just hope, um, uh, yeah, just hope that no one actually goes, f like, really deep into this too much. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, there's no mark, no harm done. What about the other car? I never, no, that one I never. I mean, I almost you crashed. You too ashamed to look at it, or? No, that car almost crashed into somebody, but, like, that wasn't my fault. I was just driving and then this motorbike didn't even look didn't even look twice before crossing the road. Dude, like I was driving on the road with T Dog, we're going to the big C that was still open. Mm. And then this really this couple on the motorbike, they just like they didn't look both ways, they didn't look anywhere. They just decided to cross the road without even looking. I almost crashed into them. I like just swerved around them on that lane. Honestly, I that was probably stupid of me. So like they're coming across from the other side and then I'm on the left side, right? Mm. So basically I avoid them by going onto the motorbike the motorbike lane. So wait, you're here and then they're here. 
they drive this way. Yeah. But then you swerve like like that or like that. They're like they're coming towards me. So instead of like braking and beeping, I sped up and went around instead. Uh, I think you did okay because honestly, you're never supposed to experience that anyways. Oh well, yeah. Le- you like watch behind anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's fine. Should be fine. It's, but it's like stupid. This couple like they didn't even look before crossing the road. I'm obviously I'm driving a car, like on the road, going that way. Look before you cross the freaking road. I don't want to see. They're probably really excited to see the new hut they made together, and uh... <laughs> it was absolutely just stupid. <laughs> and I was only like what? <sighs> I was only like sixteen. Yeah. Not wow, that long ago. Jeez, driving cars at 16. Oh, and no picking up of anybody. Yeah. I didn't drive any car when I was 16. I mean, we basically learned at the same time. I was 17. Oh, yeah, so I've totally forgotten. You still know how to drive. I know how to drive, but I'm not gonna drive like good cars. Um, I don't like what you're driving. I think like give me a bad car again and then that could be like <laughs> crashable, then I'll be comfortable. <laughs> Just don't crash. Hey, same goes for you, okay, Kano? Yeah, I haven't crashed. It's just impact. You can't call that a crash. It's more like a little touch. Well, mine was a nick, so I just got nick. Well, you you actually damaged the car. I didn't cause anything. Well, at least I. Wait, did I tell people? Actually, no. What happened was, uh, I just left it as is, and then Dad found out, and I just. I admitted to it. I didn't say I crashed the car. <laughs> yeah, I you didn't tell for someone to find out. <laughs> because there's this giant mark. Out. Of course, they're gonna find out. To be fair, after that, no one uses that car now. Now it's like a freaking. Hey, well, because it's broken. Couldn't freaking yeah, start it's... for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, he did give it to us for free, so. Yeah. yeah. Fair. It was a nice car. Hmm. Not really, but yeah, it it did the job, and it hey, first cars are always cool. You know, I can't say that was my car. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was my car either. I just but it was the it. first car I drove, so yeah, it was mm-hmm. nice. I am sentimental. Yeah, about. aircon was broken. You had to roll open the windows to get the nice um brief. <laughs> yeah. A nice air coming in. It was a convertible, basically. Except it was the roof did not come up. I'm pretty sure if we can go, if you go back to it now, you can definitely tear your roof off. <laughs> <laughs> Makeshift convertible. Yeah, why not? Why not? Mm. Oh boy! You want to talk about the TikTok versus YouTube? Uh, fine, let's uh, do it. I mean, I've already made a video on this already, but I'm just gonna go into it a little bit more. Yeah. Man, main the main thing is the Nissan Gib and Taylor Holder. What happened was stupid and shouldn't have been the result that it is. You you should have seen at least some. Of I, I didn't right? watch any of the fights. <laughs> I only got the, well, the I guess results. that's like a blessing in disguise. Yeah. But basically, you can tell, like, Gib beat him in almost every round. Probably all the rounds. And then the scorecard that came out was in huge favor of Gib. So it was like 50, 46, 50, 49, 50, 46 or something. Hmm. Like, all of them higher than... Yeah. Teamers. And then it turned out to be a draw. So, yeah, I, did, I don't get what they were thinking i don't think it was Maybe. all the judges i'm pretty i heard it was only one of the judges whoever it was frick you and yeah and then when they saw like how many punches they've thrown i mean to be fair taylor was like professional and then gib was like gib <laughs> but a lot better than his last fight a lot better than his last fight like 
Mm. That's his redemption. Where he, he he definitely won that fight, and Taylor's. Uh, you, you can even tell on Taylor's face that it was like, why was this a draw? Mm. And the coach as well. You saw my skit, right? Yeah. <laughs> the coach's face, like it says it all, and that's it. Mm. And then anything else. I mean, the only fights, the only fights that we're interested in is Deji, uh, the the final one, and then as well as Face Jarvis is actually maybe not so much for you. Mm. Well, but yeah, Deji lost again. Like what? <laughs> what? I felt I feel like he did worse last time, or Vinny is just better than Jake Paul in his first fight. I don't Probably know. actually. Yeah, I think so. I think Deji just keeps not working hard enough. When I was watching it, right, his punches were good. It was like that. That's this scary. is the thing. This is the thing. He has skill, but he ne- his stamina is what always made him lose, even in the last one. It's like using your ultimate abilities in the first rounds, and yeah, it's like I was like shocked. Oh wow, you can like push this guy right yeah but in the third round he just like i don't know he keeled over and then yeah that was it and well fair pay in the video video is super nice after though he was like cheering him up hmm. oh yeah. i didn't see that's like, i don't I really know but... but yeah that's he's like the nicest tiktoker i've seen on this card actually uh. he's probably the nicest tiktoker <laughs> Ever that I've saw. <laughs> Thanks, there's other TikTokers out there. Okay, maybe under the the kid that saves the shrimp from the parasites. And what? there. He's up to there. Yeah. The kid, the kid that, that saves that... the shrimps from the parasites. You know, the parasites are in the shrimp shells, like the crayfish. What? Anyways, yeah, that's it. <laughs> And then the other fights yeah. aren't as <laughs> interesting. Face drivers got a knockout. Bryce Hall was, of course, I've already predicted this. He would get defeated because he's a cocky little freak. And he's too young to know what's good for him. And yeah, that's it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. They probably then he was like, really? Somebody. Yeah, I know. They, they, they're fine. They're fine. If I win or lose, <laughs> win or lose, they all win. Well, that's why they went in for the money. <laughs> if you win, you win. If you lose, you win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I want to do YouTube boxing. Uh, go ahead. But I need to, I don't know, get clout, I guess. Get subs or something. Mm. But I don't like I don't like beefing with people. <laughs> Don't be with people. We kind of, I don't know, get invited or something. I don't think you necessarily have to have beef. I don't know. I think you. I mean, uh, I guess to motivate yourself to fight that person. Probably. I don't know. I think most of them just have beef because they just. for the entertainment. I think the only people that had beef was. the final fight. From uh. Dodge. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. That was like real beef, and that's it. The other fights, yeah, they're okay. No, oh, but yeah, YouTube, YouTube one overall. Yeah, I would say Good. six, six wins and then one loss. That's it. Six wins, including the draw that came out. Hmm. Yeah. Good, good. YouTube, good. Keep up the good work. Mm. Who would you want to see next? I don't care. <laughs> nah, I just hold. Uh, nah. Of course you don't. I mean, like, I don't really. I'm not really into this as much as you are. Yeah, I am doing air punching now. <laughs> 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 That's like, your training. And then when I get home, I punch you with boxing bear. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Take your obsessed. I probably have. Yeah, I watched too many of them. Now I'm like, I want to I fight somebody. But yeah. Call out the guy who borrowed your money and then figured. Oh, you, he'll probably win. <laughs> Let's be fair, Katana. You think I, you think I can beat that guy? <laughs> yeah, you can beat him in stamina, probably. I could be like, I'm more agile for sure. I don't know, he's like, he's like, Deji's size. Hmm. Maybe like, a bit skinnier. I mean, when I saw Deji in the way, I thought like, yeah, he's a bit not fit. But, like, I'm kind of scared of those guys because I don't know like how hard they can hit. Hmm. Yeah. It's like are you scared of fit guys or are you scared of like fat guys? Fit guys? What are you... <laughs> when you're in football competition... Because like fat... Well maybe listen. like you you can understand. So like but... in football competitions usually you notice you notice how good people are like by their calves almost. Like, if they have really big, really toned calves, like, noticeable, they're probably good. Like, really good. What if they just have good legs? Usually, well, if they, like, usually they have good legs because they've spent a lot of freaking time training and playing football. So usually... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. Because, like... With fat guys, I don't know how much muscle is actually under that. Like, it could be a little or it could be a lot. And then it's like, boom. You never know. You never see it coming. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of cat, speaking of calves, though, I saw Tita's story. She got fat calves. You know? Those things could pluck your eyes out. They look the same to me. <laughs> Of course they look the same to you. You're near her all the time. You can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She's like does morning workout or something. I just saw her story. Uh, and yeah. Mm. She do really well. Yeah. I've never got big calves. Only, we, only gotten like toned. We are very fit. We are fit family, not fat family. Yeah, the wrong. I'd say we are. Yeah. Let's think how many kids run around. Except I'm not that fit right now. Haven't played like serious football for a while. Me watch again? Like if I'm still. Oh wait, go on. Shoo shoo. Little prick. <laughs> uh, he can't hear me. I can just insult him. Look at that yellow ass. What did you say to me, huh? Nothing. I'll just look back at the recording <laughs> or something. Yeah. I I'm not that fit right now. I haven't played like serious football for like a while. Good three months. Almost four probably. And how does Tila do it? It's just trains and pl like plays in the backyard she trains in the backyard and gets legs like that no she trades like in a room and like in the office and also in the morning see she's found ways well i just know but yeah i know it's not it's not for you because you can't play football anymore she all said <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, I used to be fit, believe me. You, I'm pretty sure you're just fine. It's just like, it's just you're not active anymore. It's just, I'm not saying you're like, I don't know, I think it's just I mean, like unused muscle that's yeah. under here. It's fine. Just needs to be. Pretty sure if you went back running, you would still run just fine. Like, you could run uh, a kilom like five kilometers and maybe a little bit more time than usual. Yeah. Yes, when it opens back up again, you get in the zone. Mm. Hopefully it opens back up. Just need to get a vaccine, except it's freaking 3,000 baht, which I do not have. Which one was that one? 
I don't know. You said something. I don't remember what I said to you, but I did see one that was for one thousand eight hundred. <laughs> I think it was three thousand for two people. And I think that was like the special deal or something. Ah. Uh, so you like? I don't know. Trust the vaccine. Seems like a lot yeah. of people like aren't trusting it for some reason. I don't know. I, I don't mean, know why. I guess there are like some cases where people have taken it and then they died, but it could be like coincidental instead of like actually the cause of their death, right? Yeah. But overall, I think like uh, I don't know why would they give us a faulty vaccine, so. I'm just going to wait and see, and if more, and if people take it more, uh, some people I know are waiting for a better one, like from uh, American brand. Oh no, racing so no, but, uh, uh, but, <laughs> uh. but yeah, I'll just wait. I mean, Pet's getting one, so maybe mm. we could. Pretty sure she's getting the Chinese one. She's getting. I think what's it called? Uh, Sinov- AstraZeneca. What wasn't it? Sinovac. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sinovac. Me, f- me is wrong. I don't remember. But yeah, we'll try that one if it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pat, you're our guinea pig. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had guinea pigs before the guinea pigs. So <laughs> we <laughs> fine. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Right now. Home, sweet home, nice and relaxed, man. Mm. And yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a bit too relaxed. <laughs> Dude. Look at how I look. I look like Leafy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what he looks like, honestly. No, because I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding my chin. I'm hiding half my face. What? Oh no! Go back. This disgusting. You can't do a face reveal yet. People know what I look like. Pretty sure. No. <laughs> yeah, I move around a lot in the podcast. I move over here. I move to drink water. I like adjust oh, my seat. Wow! You think people go in this far? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Cause I've I've shown my face on my channel. I guess, but most people don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm just coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do to you to deserve this? You're mean to me. You killed my turtle. <laughs> I d- you're you're the one who touched to drop my turtle from a window. I <laughs> know. Petty arguments, man. You think I would actually do that, though? I don't know. Your face looked pretty serious. I'm pretty sure I was mad at you for something. I don't remember was, why. I remember but why. But I just need to... It was so oh, you do? We're, why, why? We're basically we're play fighting, and then I called saying my enemy. And then... Oh. And then Got, oh, I told you to take it back, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, he was like, take it back. And then he was telling me, and then he, he got, he grabbed my little turtle from the little container we had it in and held it out the window. I was like, am I your <laughs> brother or enemy? <laughs> I think it was pretty traumatic if you can remember it. I <laughs> oh my god. Man, I came in with blackmail. Holy frick. <laughs> You're gonna kill my turtle. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely pissed for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I remember I called you an idiot and then you. <laughs> like, idiot was such a bad word. <laughs> What did I do? I don't remember. I just called you an idiot, then you just you, know, you started crying. 
I was like, mm. and then I was like, I can't, I felt regret because oh, we're not supposed to say that word. It's a bad word. Yeah, no, it's taboo. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you should entrust kids with pets. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, that container was not not good for that turtle at all. Those turtles at all. Yeah, we they need a uh, lot more space. Pretty sure they need a lot of more things that we didn't do. We just yeah. thought, put a rock in there, water, and feed them fish food, clean their tank once in a while, and that's it. Uh, no, they don't even need, they don't, they don't even use fish tanks. They mm. need buckets, like, big buckets, the temperature needs to be checked, they need to have lights for it, to make sure, like, they're basking properly, and they check their shells. It's just all this work put in, and... And also, it's just not good for people to get turtles at that age, anyways. I don't think it's good to get them any pet at that age. No, I mean the turtles at that age. Oh. Yeah. They're way too young. Yeah. But yeah, we don't need to get into other pets. Um, yeah, definitely things, right? not. You know? Yep, definitely not. We don't need to talk about it. that. That was cruel, and uh, we're gonna get cancelled for it for some. <sighs> yeah, we'll just wait for another time. Leave it at that. Or I'll just like do the research before you buy a pet, and then make sure you have the money to take care of them. Yep. Yep. And also the commitment. That's true. I mean, you you love your animals, you bought any like now. Like our kids, we're stupid and then we took care of them badly. That's it. Mm. But if you like bought one now, you want to take care of it properly. Well, yeah, but I'm not gonna buy one right now. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because even if you I had are the money, a terrible father. Even if I had the money, I don't think I would be committed enough. Well, I mean, if you wouldn't buy it, then yeah. It's fine. No, I would get, I would get though, a snake, a snake, mm. and a turtle, and maybe a horned lizard. I always wanted, uh, no, not a horned lizard. I always wanted a bearded dragon. Yeah. Yeah, it was so nice. Didn't you want a tortoise, not a turtle? Well, turtle, tortoise, same thing. In this show. <laughs> if I were to get a, if I were to get a pet, it'd probably be a cat or a dog, honestly. What's wrong with you? What? what? How could you do this to us? Well, they're now? like reptiles. We were going to make a reptile center, and you were going to be in charge. What were you be in charge of, actually? Do you remember? Uh, I'm pretty We've sure. We've imagined this. Reptile center, like with our friend. I'm pretty sure I was in charge of the crocodiles and the alligators. And who did the snakes? I think he did the snakes, right? Yeah, yeah, I think our friend did the snakes, and I did like frogs. Okay, we didn't actually do this. This is all a dream, a little wet dream of our little kitty. Wet dream? I didn't <laughs> freaking <laughs> come. <laughs> to the fact I wanted to build a nice center for animals to talk. Well, that was our little dream project that we never did. We just liked a lot of documentaries and liked animals so much for some reason. Yeah, animals are cool. What do you mean, some reason? It's weird. It's kind of weird. Uh, liking animals Like, why, is why did we like it so much and now we're kind of like... Mm. I think it's fine. We're just not as like curious as we were before. Mm. I still get excited when I see a snake and a lizard and a frog. It's like, see? oh, a frog! I picked see? the frog. See, it is a wet dream. You get excited. I don't come on the frog, guitar. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't dream about frog in my sleep. <laughs> And wake up with a stain. You don't know. Okay? Do you ever remember your wet dreams? Of course I do. No, there has to be some dreams that you just don't remember. Where I'm what? Where I like, like where think you think about animals? Like uh, no. maybe Forget. you never know. 
there's no thought of doing bestiality ever at all. <laughs> and the people who do think that watch B stars. That's oh my god! Don't don't shit on B stars. Okay, B stars is good. I'm going to do it again. B stars. Watch B stars. B stars is amazing. Furries. And it's CGI as well. B stars so is amazing. The CGI terrible. makes it Absolutely really good. The CGI terrible. is good. The CGI is actually they did freaking CGI good. With Berserk. And now they do it. This is this studio uh, is good for like CGI. Really they make good boo. CGI stuff. Boo. B stars is amazing. Thing. Don't shit on B stars. What's good CGI in anime? B stars. I've never heard of it. Exactly. B stars is good CGI. Landed or lustrous is good CGI. There's probably more. <laughs> and I've never heard of Landed or lustrous as well. Okay. You it's good CG. It's good 3D. B stars? I would prefer it in CG, honestly. Of course you do, because there's 3D animals, of course. Like, no, good God. because it it works. It works. It just works. With B stars, say. You never Maybe watched you it. You can't judge. You can't. Perfect. You can't judge. Say I've watched it. I know what bad CG looks like. Berserk is bad CG. But all I think is, it's a anime version of Zootopia, okay? Okay. It's way better than Zootopia, it's like, it's way better than Zootopia. Furries. All the no. time. Always say no. that. That's their favorite. Oh, the internet's out again. <laughs> now why, but I can still so, hear you. How are you guys? Mm. I can still hear you. <laughs> oh my god, I can still hear him. And why is my internet not doing so well? I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh my god. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. <laughs> now, I would not dwell on watering this well. Oh, that was so sick. So sick. Uh, <laughs> you can freaking you can say I could hear you the whole time. <laughs> Why were you frozen? <laughs> I could hear you the whole time, but your picture was frozen, but you couldn't hear me. I was talking, I was just like, you can't hear me. I was just laughing at you. Uh, I didn't die. I need you recorded that. I didn't yeah. That. <laughs> Why can I hear you? That's so. That's I, I don't so know why. Bull! Oh, yeah, that was sick, though. You're a rapper. That was not a sick. That that was poetry. That was like, <laughs> that was not that rap. It's poetry. It's poetry, but you had no flow. You were just saying it like, like a freaking poet. Like a yeah, like a. I'm artistic. <laughs> yeah, shut up, get off. For you. So good. <sighs> oh. It's been one hour, one hour and twenty three minutes. We have one more story we can do. What? I don't know. <laughs> it's your you're the host today. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, um, I don't know. I finished Jujutsu Kaisen, I guess. Hey, good for you. I just need to wait now. Kind of the finale is kind of boring though. No, I, I think it was, it was good. I thought there was like when they're attacking. Well, it's yeah. kind of not like um like a finale. It's well, it's more of a, like a continuation, well, like to be continued. Well, I mean, it's kind of the final episode of the season, so it's the finale. Well, yeah, but I still think it was pretty good because it's like they're gonna be second years over that. And I was like, oh yeah. Hell yeah, they're gonna be second year. They got recommended to be, I don't know, freaking uh, what, what you call it. I don't freaking know. I don't see, like, why it's so cool. No, it's because so cool. they've already fought special grade. They've already fought special grade. Special grade's already, like, the top of it. And they're already good enough to face that. Yeah, it's so cool. It's, like, it's so cool. No, I know, I know it's cool, but 
it's just the system is gonna be overturned. They're gonna be fighting special grade every other episode next season. We'll just have like, to see. Where is grade two? Where's grade one? Right? Actually, next is a movie, Even so we saw- we're gonna have to uh, wait to oh, okay. watch that. But yeah, just like when they set up, I'm just thinking like I'm going back to Naruto as reference again. It's like they set up the system and then just, they break the system by putting in like super good things that are way past the, the grade that it used to be. Mm. But yeah, that's shown in for it. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> Pretty sure Jujutsu would do something special. Special. Jujutsu is oh, good. Oh wow. More fingers. <laughs> oh boy. How many did he eat so far? Seven? I don't know. I was counting. I was just too preoccupied with the characters. Honestly, I don't really... The story is... Like, I don't really remember it. <laughs> nah, we don't need to go there again. Yeah, I don't you really remember it. Already. It's just they're freaking cool. That's it. The characters are cool. Everyone's cool. That's it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't dislike anybody. So that's a good thing. I guess. <laughs> that's a first. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know what we're going to do now. I'm tired, bro. What are you doing, Step, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? You're way too close to the mic. I don't know why you're holding it. I told you to go far. It looks so much better than this. What? And you get to see my shirt. What? I'm pretty far back. Well... You well also so that I don't need to have my mic like right here all the time. See? Yeah, but it I sounds like way this, better. Like this. Yeah, but it's too close and personal. But it sounds so much no better. No one is going to be talking to someone like this. It's gonna be like it's this. It just like sounds that. better. It sounds better. Thinking of topics. Topic Should we just topic. end it? <laughs> we could just no. end it. I don't want to end it. I don't want to end it. <laughs> I don't want to. No. No. No, Kata. Mm. You brought nothing to the table. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I brought something. <laughs> oh, let's just end it. I, I can't think of anything right now. Okay, yeah. we'll go into moral of the story. Moral. Do of not the bungee story. jump. Uh, bungee jumping is stupid. You're gonna die. You're not skydive. You're gonna uh, die. I thought I was like kill yourself. And yeah, ju- bungee jumping is basically killing yourself with string. Okay, actually, there's not another way for with that. Excitement. <laughs> there's another word for killing yourself with string, but. <laughs> It's like killing. Oh. <laughs> you just got it. Um, what else? Um, blackmail your brother. Yeah, that counts. Uh, we and we, we don't get why cats and dogs are such taboo to eat, even though we don't eat them ourselves. But we still don't get why. Um, I think we get why. We're just being stupid about it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> saying blackmailed me with my um, threatening to kill my turtle. Well, now <laughs> I know you're my friend and not my enemy, so that's good. He said brother, not friend. He said enemy oh. or brother. Such a dad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nah, you're my brother, now I <laughs> Do that again, I'll, uh, what, I'll, what would what I do? What do you have? I have my figurines. You can get your figurine, sure. <laughs> and yeah, my rhyming skills are sick. Uh, do not entrust pets so with funny. kids. <laughs> yeah, I have no morals. Um, <laughs> boxing is fun. And you try it out sometime. 
<laughs> you watch it. Le- if you watch it, it long enough, you start punching the air because uh, it's <laughs> because I don't have enough money to buy bags now. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yep. Totally. We're totally killing this outro. Wow. We're soon to closing. I am how to do it. So yeah, that's been this episode of the broadcast. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in uh, what guys. We'll see you guys next episode. Bye.